I'm in Albuquerque checking out the incredible Osprey. It's a transformer in the truest sense and provides an extremely fast way to get troops and artillery to the front line. Speed, range, and versatility make it the ideal platform for special operations. Soon, I'm going to be taken up to see the revolutionary Osprey in action. But first, I want to get a sense of what the pilot experiences when switching from helicopter to airplane mode. With so much computer technology, it's no surprise that they have a state-of-the-art simulator. So if you want, you've got the controls. So we're starting to lift, lift off the ground, yes? Yep. It's like no other simulator I've been in. With astonishingly real graphics, the view is breathtaking. Doing all right? Or? Yeah, you can go bring the power back a little bit to try to hold it. You're still climbing. You're about 80 foot hover now, but that's OK. The pilots need to be masters in handling both helicopters and airplanes. Lieutenant Colonel Cardoso assures me that it's really easy to fly, but I need to know what it feels like to change from one to the other. So go ahead and try some turns and kind of see how it feels. Right now, it's more like a helicopter right now because your nacelles are still in an upward position. So this why don't we... Is, this is awesome, by the way. Let's go ahead and get a little speed now. Bring the nacelles forward now. Go ahead and click and move them forward. We'll go to airplane mode. Bring the nose up. Yep. Now give it one click forward. Got it. Now you're in airplane. Oh, look at that. You feel the vibration all change. And you're in airplane flying at coming up on 240 knots already. Wow. So now your controls are very much like an airplane sims you've flown before. Flying the simulator was a virtual buzz, but there's no substitute for the real thing. It's time to see this amazing aircraft in the flesh. The Air Force guys are taking me up for a ride so I can experience the high-tech metamorphosis for myself. The Osprey sounds great in theory. Now it's time to take this bird of prey in the air and see what it's all about. check out how the Osprey starts like a twin rotor helicopter, executing a perfect vertical takeoff. When we reach optimum height, the rotors shift to horizontal. This time, I can really feel the changeover as the Osprey goes into airplane mode and starts to pick up speed. Honestly, it blows my mind. In many ways, flying in the Osprey has always been a fantasy for me. When I first joined the Navy, this was a concept program. Now I can barely believe I'm actually flying in the Osprey. For added maneuverability, the Air Force version has a super sensitive radar, allowing it to operate at low level. It can follow the contours below in poor weather conditions or even in complete darkness. It can avoid threats, change its route, and choose discrete pickup and landing sites. And it's stealthy, too. The Osprey is 75% quieter than a helicopter, but it also has a 95% reduction in heat signature, giving it the ability to drop off troops in difficult areas quickly and quietly. The Air Force version of the Osprey carries over 2,000 gallons of fuel, more than any other variant. This gives it a combat radius of 500 nautical miles. If it needs to go even further, it can be refueled in mid-air. Today, I'm getting the opportunity to see this for myself. This is a highly skilled and dangerous task. The pilot must carefully maneuver the Osprey, allowing it to attach its probe to the fuel cable. One false move, and the cable could get caught in the rotor, and that would mean it's game over for both aircraft. But getting it right is well worth the practice it takes.
The ability to refuel in midair is crucial. As it penetrates hostile territory, it needs to be able to react to the changing situations on the battlefield. If the original pickup point or landing zone is no longer viable, a substitute may be miles away. So, the Osprey can now stay airborne long enough to get there and back again. Or it can hover while the battle plan is revised. And if the new landing zone is on rough terrain and has no airfield, for the Osprey, that's no problem. The rugged Albuquerque landscape is the perfect place for trying out the Osprey's all-terrain landing ability. Now the nacelles switch back into the upward position as it descends vertically and quickly. For this majestic bird, nowhere is off limits. I think we're, we're just starting to realize the full potential of the aircraft. This is just the beginning right now. That's why it's so much fun to kind of be at the, on the ground floor of something that you know, for, without a doubt, has a long future ahead of it. All my operational time is flying the predecessor of the MV-22, the H-46. I've, I've got thousands of hours in that aircraft, uh, numerous uh, deployments, combat time, and I only wish back then that I had the capabilities that this aircraft brings to bear. As you can see, rumors of the Osprey's extinction are greatly exaggerated. Soon, it'll be in the field and ready for combat. <laughs>